Hello, my name is Dr. Brian Baxt, B-A-X-T, like Baxter without the E-R, and I'm the physician in Dothan, Alabama. My original background was in emergency medicine. I did my training at Yale back in the 90s, and I stayed on as faculty there. Uh, my particular specialty was teaching all the incoming doctors the use of ultrasound to access veins. And after 20 years of doing nights, weekends, and holidays, when I found out that I can keep doing the specialty that I love, and it is with much more humane hours, I can still help people without harming myself. CVR has got the infrastructure to allow me to be a doctor and not to worry about anything else. They have such an excellent support staff, everything from the regional office manager to the on-site administrative support staff. There is a surgical technician to help me during procedures. There is a medical assistant to help me out with charting. I have not one, not two, but three ultrasound technicians that I work hand in hand with, a brilliant nurse practitioner. And with all of these, it takes a village and I've got the resources I need that I can do the best care possible. It's not a cookie cutter approach. My goal is to find out what your goals are and then to help you achieve them. Some people in varicose veins are only there to look better, they find them ugly. Other people don't care how they look and all they want is a relief from the pain, the swelling, the throbbing, the heaviness. And some people are there for both. The way I look at it, I'm here to help you get to where you want to be. I'm Juggle, I'm a beekeeper. I'm a pretty darn good chef, uh, but in terms of my actual medical practice, which is probably what you're interested in, my father is a physician, and from him I learned the nuts and bolts of medicine. My mother is a second grade teacher, and I learned from her that if I take all of my so-called brilliant advice and I explain it to people in doctor language that they don't understand, I didn't help anyone because they don't know what I said. So I like to think that I can blend medicine with being a human being. I always think of going to the doctor's office as the way I feel when the when my car goes into the mechanic to get a repair. I remember they told me you need a PCV valve and I had to ask what, what is that? Is that something I drop it off and in 10 minutes and for 50 bucks I get it back or does that mean my engine is shot and I need to get a new vehicle? I didn't understand what the mechanic was talking about and I wanted to. I think that patients are the same way with their body and I'd like to think that I do a good job because of mom and dad of taking doctor language and converting it into English. By listening to them. Since everyone has a different goal, if I decide I am the doctor and you're the patient and this is what I'm going to do for you, no, I have no idea what it is that they're there for. So I see my role as finding out what their goals are and helping them accomplish it. One thing that people should know about varicose veins is the symptoms are very nonspecific. The analogy that I tell people, it's a fever. You can have a fever because you've got a common cold. You can have that same exact fever because you're in intensive care dying of COVID. And the point is, without a medical degree, we don't expect people to understand, hmm, this is where my fever is coming from. Similarly, varicose veins can cause so many different symptoms in the legs. The classic ones are heavy, ache, swell, throb, itch, tired. They are so vague that the way I look at it is if there's anything bothering you about your legs, please come on in and see us. The testing is a physical exam that has no needles and our diagnostic test is an ultrasound. There is no radiation, no needles, no pain. And everything we do is one-stop shopping. When you come in, you meet the doctor or the nurse practitioner, you have your ultrasound and the results are discussed with you in person by one of us. So there is no case where you're ever getting your test done, but you haven't seen the doctor. There is no case where you get your test done and we will give you a call back in one week with the answers. Now you walk in there and when you walk out, you know if you have varicose veins or not and if we can fix you and what we propose to do. My original specialty was emergency medicine and in that we take care of whatever walks or is brought into the emergency department. So I still view myself as a whole person doctor. One of the things I don't like about modern American medicine is it's almost gotten to the point where if you injure your left pinky and you go to a hand specialist, I fear they might tell you, oh, I'm sorry, I'm a right hand specialist, I can't help you. So although I might be your quote unquote vein specialist and that's all I do, that's not all I do. I still take care of the whole human being. So if while you're there, you've got a question about your dad's stroke or your mother's blood pressure or what to do with your sprained ankle, they're all connected to the same person whose veins we're taking care of. 
And if I get your veins healthy and the rest of you isn't doing well, I didn't help you out. So I'm still an entire human being doctor. Ask me whatever you need. Every single patient that walks in the office, I offer them my business card on which is my email and my cell phone. My philosophy is you're going to trust me to put a needle in your body. I trust you to contact me whenever you need me. The last thing I want is that I've done a procedure on you and it's 5.01 p.m. and you've got to dial the number, hit four, then hit two, wait for somebody to answer, and then they have to track me down and then I have to call you back. Nah, I don't believe in that. You get me directly. If you need me, you've got me 24 seven.